Hello, welcome back. So to get over here, you just need to enter the building in the north side. I'll show you after we leave this place. So the residential complex was to the south. This is to the north because it's the nicer place. Now you can actually have a lot of interesting things to do over here, but I don't have enough electronics. Hope that will kill them. And if you sneak in here, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do after that because they will see you. I guess the best course of action is to speak with these people. Remember, the quest is to speak with Menzel and either convince him to stop or, you know, do the old fashioned killing. Whitley, never heard of him. I'm gonna kill Whitley. I'm going, <laughs> I'm gonna kill Whitley, okay. You can impersonate an agent and then say you don't know. Yeah, I guess you don't have enough skill to do this, but I like how we specifically tell him that why do cyclists keep the biomass? They keep the biomass, they keep it in a state of suspension, suspended animation, and while they're breaking it down, and it's a, a very, very long, very, very long way to die, or you can just come with two squads here and turn this hovel upside down. I, I guess you know a lot of, about the bio recyclers. Yeah, we don't like pe I mean, we don't like diplomacy that much, either way. We're really thinking of dropping the ended or the distortion fields because I have this distortion field with two upgrades, and they're still shooting him like he doesn't have anything. So I don't get it. I don't see why I should still be using it. Also, I don't like Faith. I think I'll have to replace Faith as soon as possible. So when I get a new companion, she's out. She's just too squishy and the other characters just target her down. So she'll die the next round if I don't do something. The energy shield or the energy armor helped me a lot because that basically tripled her HP. But it's still not enough on this difficulty. She still gets smashed too easy. And I have a lot of problems with melee in this game. I tried to do this fight a bit earlier and you know, that guy hit me for 16 in a critical hit and then he hit me again for 16 in a critical hit on the same character, so Jed is the heaviest armored character I have and probably that you can get in the game with no penalties, but he still got hit for 32 damage in a single combat with this guy, a single round of combat. So I don't like to fight with her in the room because every time I try to fight her with her in the room, she gets smashed by people. So if someone wants to fight with me, I'll be outside. I think it's just better to go outside of the room to be honest. This guy is very hard to hit because of the evasion. He's basically built for evasion. <laughs> I guess Lazarus would be hit a few times as well, but uh, that's not so important. Yes, yes, yes. Get your shot before I exit the building or the little room. We can also activate his team. Then get another shot in. 8 damage. Decent. He still got it for maximum. I mean, yeah, his evasion didn't help there. I also liked using the double shot, but to be honest, the special attacks are not really worth it from what I saw. So remember, if you move him before you shoot, you get his charger bonus. Which can do a lot of damage. And damage. 
I guess it's decent enough. Should I insist on killing this guy? Probably should insist on killing that guy, but this guy will be a lot of... Will make me a lot of problems. Yeah, I should probably kill the shotgun guy, it's the safest option. Let's just take the steam and then we'll take the... No, we have to take the healing next turn. <laughs> 9 damage. That's great, 11 damage. Crippled and staggered, wow. But <laughs> he got critted for 20, he's not built for combat. I really think the developer should... Uh, well, they should... How would I put it? Experiment more with non-combat characters because I feel like everyone is made for combat and you and when you find characters that are not built for combat specifically, they're so weak. Oh, hello. 18 damage. See, this is what I'm talking about. Why why are you going to get it for such a high amount of damage? It's stupid how much damage the melee can do, and there's no point in you building a melee character. If it's just a big liability, I don't know how to put it any other way. Okay, let's let's do this again. And I'm so tired of her always dying. No matter what you do, Faith keeps dying on me. To the point where I even think about dropping her from the party. I guess you can also go into this tiny room. Okay, let's go into this room then. Let's see how they like it. When they have to fight us in a small room. Yeah, the, this is a big problem. I'm finding too many characters that can basically demolish one of your party members with a single round. That's all they need. Staggered. More stagger. It's not like they miss anyway, so it's not really helping me. And I keep forgetting to give them their better weapons, to equip their better guns before we start combat. I guess we need to work on this guy a little bit. So that's. 8 action points. Ah, we can shoot him a couple of times. Before we go and hide. I'd have liked to tank a few more shots with her, but she'll have to tank the shots while she's running away. Anyway. Well, I guess he has a chance to kill. But it's not a likely chance. Since he has to go away. Hmm, that might have been a mistake. Yeah, Jed will have to heal. Even with all of his damage resistance against shooting, he still seems to take a lot more damage than he should. Oh, poor, poor Jed. I guess I can go there and switch with Faith. Just too many attacks of opportunities, and if I switch with him here, it's still going to be the same thing, more or less. Nah, I think it. Yeah. Just end the turn, you'll be okay. <laughs> 
20 damage. You can see that characters. I think the developers could experiment more on combats, not. I think the developers could experiment more with characters that are not designed for combat. Yeah, the guards are nice, but. See, this is what I'm talking about. A lot more characters should have less combat skills, not more like this guy. This guy. This guy is immortal almost with his current build. Look at the 70 evasion. Or 70 evasion bonus plus whatever he has over there. The gadget, the I don't know, it's just too much, I think. Some characters don't have any weaknesses. So he's the bullseye chance is 25% to hit him. It's incredibly small. The point where it's not even worth shooting game in the head. And even, yeah, this is why I don't really do the aim shots, because I don't feel like they're worth it. That's six. Okay, that's almost perfect. Almost. Oh, I should have shot that guy, I forgot about him existing. Oh, look at this, he'll crit her. Didn't crit. It's a mess in here. I couldn't swap out my characters in time. Basically, I'm stuck. So this guy has doesn't have any armor, but because of his stupid shield, well, of course the shield only lasts two rounds. So next round he will be out of a shield as well, but. Until then, I don't have any... I don't really have options until then. I should just get the team out of the way. Reload. Use the remaining action points to go out of the way. Weird, you cannot go over here. Why not? I guess I could just throw a grenade over here. I will throw a flashbang. It's a low grade flashbang anyway. Flash, what am I? Flashbang anyway. I guess I just need to hit these two. Reload. Switch reload. Wait. Huh, he got shot again. That's making me very, very angry. Dude, what is that? Come on. The lucky shots are just unending in this game. And I'm tired of the lucky shots so much. Look at this. One damage. Six. Three. One. Yeah, I'm happy you decided to die. Hmm, I guess I could try a bullseye. Oh yeah, my my aiming is a lot better now apparently.
This is going to hurt a lot. He might even kill me. Why is this so painful? Don't do it, please. Okay, his shield is finally out. Faith is basically useless since I would have to swap places with everyone and then she will be in the front line. Ah, that's better than me. Poor Jed. <laughs> I guess I should just focus on him. <laughs> that was a lucky shot coupled with a lucky shot, but again, they should be blinded mostly. Stop. Stop again. Missed there, yeah, that's understandable. Perfectly reasonable miss. Just uses the double shot with his pepper box, which is not so good, but it's also not very bad either. Yeah, I don't understand why you cannot go over here. I guess the developers knew we would use this, but still, it does make sense. So many things in the game don't make sense, especially stuff like this. I guess we can use the gas. We really wanted to make them miserable. Well, I guess just for the record, no, we could do a lot of things and destroy them very fast if we just use the gas. Just reload your guns. You'll get your shot at some point. I, I probably should give him the heart anyway, but it's just that all of those debuffs are really making it hard. Sometimes I'm... I'm still amazed at how stupid it can get. They still didn't have enough action points to use this team. <laughs> I should have weapons would deal more uh, consistent damage. <sighs> Faith swap out. I guess, yeah, my favorite shot. <laughs> I could have shot him so much sooner. Evans, friend, you're going to hate this. His chance is so little to do anything at this point. Or he could just do that and be a total hero. I don't get this game. Sometimes yeah, it seems like everything is so randomized. Sorry, Brotherhood, you had it coming. Okay. Spoils over. Yeah, I could have done this fight a lot better, probably, but at the same time, mm, it's, it's just the same story every time. They just focus down Faith a lot, and I'm tired of. Babysitting her. Let's see what we got. We got scav armor. Eh. Eh, decent amount of creds. And this guy only had the bowie knife. I mean, it's not so 
strong, but as you can see, it's just the character builds that are going to be the problem. Hey, uh, healing steam, old Stanley. This is new, pirate goggles. Enforcer helmet, visor. You get the accuracy bonus as if you're wearing glasses. Oh, that's that's a good helmet, a great helmet. You have the spinal. Hey, take loot all. Can you wear this helmet without? Yeah, it's okay. You can wear it. The visor, he looks kind of cool right now. Five shot. Oh, this is one of the better guns. Oh, this is the expensive one. Oh, I guess we it's good that we kept him away. This is so shiny and so expensive. The damage is more or less the same, but oh, yeah, the accuracy bonus, the grace. Action 10, penetration 15, stagger 20. Of course, the effective range is super small, but I guess it's the same as the blunderbuss. <laughs> nice, so we got an upgrade. Yeah, there are probably better ways to do this fight, but again, it, it seems like it's randomized to me most of the time because of those huge critical attacks. Okay, I guess we can use the ranger arm galazon. Someone. Yes, yeah, better. He already has the ranger arm. Oh, we all have ranger arm guns. <clears throat> nice. Now we did get enough steam. Okay, everyone has a steam right now. We are rich. We're low on medkits, though. So. Yeah. And I guess that was all for the loot, not much to gain from this fight. So I guess that's a failed quest more or less, well uh, I say failed quest but it's a lot of loot we can get. Oh. Killing items, I love those. Power cell. Yeah, I don't think I'll use that. This difficulty doesn't encourage you using the distortion field. It's the same thing I already had. Also, saying the distortion field stuff will be so useful. And to give us a lot of money. Look, big four. That's not bad. <laughs> Just more worker goggles. No, thank you. But you can also give the these goggles to someone else. Oh, but mm, yeah, they don't give you the reaction shot. Why not have a ten percent reaction shot? But you lose the accuracy bonus. So it's 21, 30, I guess he should get them, <laughs> he looks kind of weird but okay, nobody can escape his reaction shot now. I guess I should make it like this. Oh, yeah. Yes, some weapons have a much better reaction shot. Look, pick seven, really? Can we try more times and maybe we'll get it? No, seven is too much for us. Well, probably we can come back later. I hope so. Yeah, that was not such a bad combat. I, I guess if you practice it long enough, you'll be okay. 
I don't like when it says not yet or stuff like that. I think we cannot come back. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. We we're going to have to get stealing at level seven. By the way, I went over here, stole all of the stole all of the stuff. I went into the little bar over here, stole all of the stuff available. I think after this we can just focus on doing other stuff. I'm kind of tired of the Brotherhood since I know I'm not going to stick around for a long time. It also gives you more information. I kind of skipped this part, but it gives you more information that you get food based on your rank. And you can get some nice eggs if you have a high rank. I wish I had recorded that, but it's okay. It's only flavor text. Do I have anything else I want to buy from here? Probably. I guess it depends on personal preference. So this, the pulse grenades are going to be very nice to buy. The Webler Mark II is also pretty nice. So 6, 10 and 10. 7, 14. Oh wow, what? Accuracy 3. I guess it has penetration and a lot more accuracy, so it, it would be better if I buy this one. Or I can wait and see what's in the church. <laughs> Not use the... Let's sell some of the stuff we got. Sell that one as well, yeah. Okay, so that was a decent amount of loot we got from all of this. I guess I really want to go to the other place now. I don't know why it counts as a minus. We solved our corruption problem. <laughs> Let's go to the place where I feel more relaxed and more at home. At Oh yeah, yeah, I did this already. When I first came over here. I guess you can move like this around. I need to go with John. It was identity. Hmm. Oh, where is your little cafe? Med Bay. I think I have to steal from the Med Bay as well. Okay, let's steal from the Med Bay before I forget. So we're basically done with our brotherhood area for now. They love to give you aggro steams for whatever reason. We already bought stuff, yeah, we already bought stuff from here, so usually I sell st Oh, this is the part I wanted. So the emitter is pretty nice. 20, 30, and 4. So that extra damage reduction is actually a lot, because that extra damage reduction will make them on par with the Jed. I guess we have a few extra flashbang grenades. You, sh you should have that and she can have the gas ones. Uh, 
That's a low grade. Well, I guess I can give him the low grade as well. Yeah, so it's a lot of shield HP. Uh, it's expensive, but it will be worth it probably in the long run. Oh, it's 2 now. 30 and 4. Interesting. Recharge rate. The HP per turn. I like them because they also recharge. So definitely I will always go for the energy shields. Especially on this difficulty. Because it seems like it's almost impossible for the enemy to miss you anyway. They only miss you if you use the flashbang grenades. I guess we can give the sneaking game a chance. You're only supposed to steal stuff from here. Yeah, I guess I'll need someone to level up their sneaking as well, because there are some areas that you only have to use sneaking. I mean, specific areas where you have to use sneaking. Oh, this is the little cantina. Oh, too many eyes on you. No problem. Less eyes over here. Okay, so where is the residential district? It's over here. Okay, now I have such a clear vision of what to do when the game is fully released. So, Deviant Faith, talk to John. Sure, we'll talk to John. Ah, did that work? No, I don't think it worked. I come from the pit. Brotherhood or protectors? We all began as brothers and sisters in Christ. Oh, father of lies, okay. Freedom is not granted by God. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yes. Can I help you? Oh yeah, we have some troublemakers around here. It's an interesting area. Can we see what's up here? Or what's happening here? Hmm. Okay, so that's John over there, so we can do some other things around here. Sorry I'm making the video so long, but I just want to see more of the game, otherwise I can only play a few games every day, so yeah. Troublemakers. Young but flabby, well fed but unhealthy looking. Burger exact from his desk. Greet them. God beat you. He's concerned about you. Why? <laughs> We are still overwhelmed, but, but there's much time to learn. The widow. Aren't you the church? What's going on here? The church is preparing for war. I grew up with the protectors, so I'm no stranger to the drills and the propaganda, but these, these people spend half, half of the day training in self-defense units and the other day speaking in sermons. 
we're going to fight the devil and we're going to win. Well, what's so wrong about that? You're basically doing what everyone on the ship should do, which is military training and mental training. So you can resist their attacks and there's also their attempts to convince people to leave or do something else. Well, you can leave. Enjoy your drills and sermons. Okay, so that's how it plays out with those options. Can we do anything else? Doesn't seem like it, we do much, do we? Oh, I guess this was the right option. Not what the church expected either, and you're not happy about it, you can always leave, but why not try to make it work first? Maybe those sermons start growing on you. True, they might start growing on him. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them, thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show them mercy. Okay. Yes, yeah, sooner or later someone will go to it. It doesn't really matter who starts it, only on whose side will be fighting. Would you rather fight for the Brotherhood or the Protectors? I guess I can use this as a chance to increase my impersonation skill. Simple as that. What is coming, brother? Will you fight for the Brotherhood's freedom to subjugate other, the Protectors' mission to do the same, or the everlasting glory of God? Oh, that's such a nice way of writing it. I think different people wrote the story for different faction because this is a great way to explain the faction so will you fight for the brotherhood's freedom to subjugate others the protector's mission to do the same <laughs> or oh, the everlasting glory yeah, yeah. we we convince them yeah, be very very careful with your choices because you can mess up a quest simply by choosing the wrong answer even though it doesn't seem like it uh, give them some time they'll fit in So, I'm not sure, but what did he have free with the church? I'm not sure what faction is, faction uh, rating is, anyway. Or how it helps us. Stealing his cup of algae. Soaking dried algae in some water. A prophet? Smell better. What did the angel say? I've started from the path. What path? Those should not kill, not fight thy neighbor. Yeah, well. We are not really on earth. Where are your followers? I knew you were coming, so I sent them away to give us some privacy. Are you here too? Friends in high places, not even in the church, things were doing... Okay, the church militant. They are called soldiers of Christ, what? They don't know and pray for peace, the best weapon the church has ever had is the word of God. So, maybe laying down the tools of the devil is in such an insane... Yeah, they... Everyone will get slaughtered, exactly. What if you are wrong? Yeah, the, his logic is a little flawed because he expects he's really disarming them and it took a long while for them to get armed anyway. This is kind of like Romania in World War II. Romania wanted to be neutral in World War II but they ended up losing territories to both sides of the war, to both factions. So they had to join the war regardless. So this is kind of like the same thing. If you don't Arm yourself and prepare for the war, you lose territory and resources to both of these factions and then you'll enter the war anyway. It doesn't matter what you want, what the Brotherhood and Protectors want and it's not peace. Deliver the church, the church. yeah the road to hell is paved with good intentions. They might have lost the way but only because the church lost it first. 
you know, we think the only faction is that it still follows the word of God. Maybe they don't follow it to the letter, but they do a better job than the brothers and protectors. This is a safe haven for the faithful, and if you bring it down, the deaths will be on your head. Human nature, they lost their way because it's human nature. Okay, we did it. Thank you, game. You are really nice. I guess it's also because of the initial disposition buff, maybe. Okay, so we did manage to convince all of them to do the right thing. How much money do we have? Oh yeah, almost 2000 credits. I think, no, I'm pretty sure you need 2000 credits to overclock one of your implants. So that's going to be a long road until you overclock all of them. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I don't like it. Fresh from the pit. We're paying for officers with combat experience. Why does the church need officers? Where did you come? The pit, probably. Oh, 10 years protecting the mission. Nobody wants the mission, maybe. I'm Bo Thompson. What's it like working for the protectors? Uh, people are the same all over. Some of them are where to sell the flags. Doesn't really matter what's on it. <laughs> they salute the flag, doesn't matter what's on the flag. The mission. Well, we don't actually have a lot of choices over here. Can we get another answer? I guess they could add, they could just give him a mask so it fits his picture better. I don't know why they are highlighted like that. Okay, let's <laughs> let's report our success to Elona. I have the details. Abraham, who is the chaplain general? Well, I was expecting more of a combat type of armor, and yeah, okay, that's better. Yeah, just give him a coat. He knows that. The great deceiver looks. <laughs> Sounds like this is Warhammer 40k. The great deceiver. As Gog and Magog wasted the resources on the coffin, the church has grown strong. So he wants the... Who is Gog and Magog? Probably the demons. The Brotherhood and the Protector, right? They are two sides of the same golden coin, which promises much, but delivers eternal damage. That's actually pretty, pretty true. Join the... The brothers should freedom to subjugate others or join the protectorate protectors of the mission to do the same all over again. The church has gone strong while the brotherhood and protectors fought each other, but if they bend together, the church will not survive. Therefore, you must do what? Okay. Yeah. How's your at war? I'm missing. Offer the, offer the life support machine to the church. Yes. Not yet, but it's in perfect condition. Every light switch and gauge is gauge in perfect working order. Brother Matthias will go with us. What journey? House Ecclesias for starters, or do you have the know-how to assemble all of machine yourself? Don't worry, they won't turn away an agent of the church and so okay.
Godel Matthias. Way, hello, welcome. Yeah, I guess we can work with this guy. Let's go. The entrance to the ACLS. Take the elevator near the recruitment center to go to the maintenance deck. Uh, hey, nice thumbnail, right? Okay, so we have more repetition of church. We are friends now. Okay, before I end the video, I just want to see what I have to do. Something about the maintenance deck? Probably because that's the only place we haven't done and... Mm, yeah, I don't think we need to go to the Apostolic Heights, which is kind of like the better residence for the people here. God beauty she born, take the elevator down. Okay, so I guess I have to do the shuttle bay first before we do this one. Again, you have to do them in a certain order. The ship's underbelly. The environmental control and life support system. Oh, it's really big. So, yeah, I'll have to do this next time, but let's just see what's next. I'll also go to the shuttle bay before I come over here. What is this place? Washington of Faith. What do you know about the monks? I think it's metal on plastic, but I think... Oh. Okay, I'm just curious if I can get my tires right now. So I guess you cannot leave it once you enter it. Yeah, a lot of points of no return. Can I get a shop or something over here? Yeah, he's nice and cyborg-like. Okay, it's super interesting. So we'll not go over there yet, we just have to do some other things before we go. <laughs> what an amazing little game we have over here. Apparently, I still don't... They should explain what the faction reputation does. We are the friend of the church, but what does that mean? Can we steal them from them easier? Let's go to the arms, but usually like you saw in the Brotherhood, the Brotherhood is the easiest faction to access the second level stores. 
the gun shop and the almost shop. I don't think they have anything new in the store for us. Yeah, not really. I guess we can sell another spine. Extra spine. Oh, what's our electronic skill? Ah, I guess it's still five. Now that I put a skill tag on computers, we don't need computers anymore. Or so it seems. Okay, so I guess we are done with this portion of the game. So next time when we start, we have to go to the shuttle bay. Probably complete the quest for the shuttle bay and then we'll be able to advance a little more. Oh, I didn't do the shuttle bay stuff? Well, I have to do the shuttle bay stuff next. See you next time. Bye bye.